What's up YouTube? This is your boy Second Accord and I'm going to show you guys how to root your Samsung Galaxy Tab 7.0 Plus. It is a very, very easy process. Um, it shouldn't take more than a few minutes, actually. So, without any further ado, um, you're going to have to go to a website. The website is called uh, X xdadevelopers.com. Uh, once you get into XDA Developers, you're going to hit the Forms button and you're going to click on Find Your Device. The tab up here and just type in Galaxy Tab and if you look on uh, you can scroll down you're gonna see uh, 7 Galaxy Tab 7 Plus click on Galaxy Tab Plus and then you're gonna click on Galaxy Tab Android Development it's the third link down uh, once we're here, we're going to scroll down and we're going to see a thread that says root your Galaxy Tab 7 Plus. And this has a tutorial. The steps, every step you need to take is on here. And this, the post is by a guy named, was it B Digital Studio? But anyway, Here's here's the instructions. Um, one thing you are going to need is you are going to need a SD card. If you do not have an external X SD card, you cannot do this. Um, SD cards are cheap. You can get them on Amazon for like five dollars. So just go ahead and get your SD card. Um, you're going to need to download Samsung keys, and I'm not exactly sure. I think the only reason why you're downloading Samsung keys is so you can get the latest drivers. Because uh, you don't really use keys in this tutorial at all, but when you download keys, um, they will have drivers that will update to your tablet. So, download Samsung keys. Um, you can Google search Samsung keys. I'm not going to go in uh, every single step, but if you don't have Samsung keys, go ahead and pause the video and Google Samsung keys and go ahead and download it. Um, it's going to take a while to download. It's a very large program. After you do that, what you need to do is you need to plug in your Galaxy Tab. So once you plug in your Galaxy Tab on your computer, a pop-up should pop up that says autoplay. So we're gonna click on Autoplay. You're going to open device to view files. Now you should have tablet and you should have card. So we're going to leave that over to the side for a sec. Um, also, you're going to need to download this file down here. This file is root.zip. You're not going to unzip that file, you're just going to download it. And as you see, I already downloaded it. So, but once it's downloaded, all you need to do is you need to transfer this root.zip file up into the card. Just drop it in the root of the card. So, if you, I usually, um, my preferred method is I usually drop things on my desktop. So I have the root.zip file up here, and then I just drag it over to where I need it to be. Okay. So once that file is on your card, what you're going to do is you're going to turn off your Galaxy Tab Plus. So after it's dropped, you can unplug it. You're done. So I've already done this, so I'm not really going to uh, say do all the steps, but I just want to show you guys the steps. And if my device looks different, uh, I, I am running Ice Cream Sandwich, and I will show you guys how to download Ice Cream Sandwich, but uh, the method I use, you're going to need to be rooted, so it's just going to help you guys. Once your tablet is off, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to enter the recovery mode, and to enter recovery, you're going to have to press the volume 
up and the power button at the same time. Once the tab turns on, you're going to release the power button, but then you're going to continue to hold the up button. So, see if I can do this with one hand while holding the camera. Okay. Oh shoot, I, I didn't do it right. So that's my fault. I'm going to have to do this uh, again. I'm going to pause the video. But uh, what you do is you need to hold the volume and the power up button at the same times. And as soon as the Samsung screen pops up, you release the power button. And you're going to continue to hold the volume up button. And what's that going to do is that is going to place you into recovery mode. Um, once you're in recovery mode, um, you're going to apply, you're going to pretty much apply the update from SD card. It's very simple, and I'm gonna show you guys right now. So, excuse me for wasting an, about a minute of your time. You got are gonna have to hold it for a, a second. So now that the Samsung screen is popped up, I release the power button. There we go. Now we're in the Android re recovery. Um, your recovery might look slightly different. I'm not sure. This is ice cream sandwich, but uh, it's the menus. The menus are exactly the same. Now what you're gonna do is you're going to go down and you use the volume buttons to go up or, up or down and use the power button to select and you're gonna press the volume button down until it says apply update from SD from internal storage you're gonna hit the power button and you're gonna find that root.zip file which is right here and then you're gonna hit the power button after you hit the power button, it's going to do its thing. After you're done, you're going to have an option to reboot, and you just reboot it. That's all. That's all you are. You do. And then you reboot system now, and pretty much as soon as you reboot the system you are going to be rooted and once you are rooted um, I do recommend strong you uh, rec strongly recommend you go to the Android market and install super user um, you can also install a busy box if you want to I don't have busy box because I really don't have a need for it at the moment but um, you can install busy box and go ahead and install super user I'm going to show you guys where Super User is and what it looks like when you're in the Android market. And super user in here, uh, the developer is Chains DD, and you would click on that. It, this is a free download, and you would just hit install. At this moment, at that from now, from this point on, you are now fully rooted. If you guys are interested in installing, being able to install Ice Cream Sandwich on your Galaxy Tab Plus, I will be doing a video on that, so stay tuned. Go ahead and subscribe so you can get that video as soon as it comes out. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, please. If you have any questions or any comments, go ahead and uh, leave a comment down in the comment section because I do respond to questions and comments. And if you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. I'm out.